the window and you put it over his head. I can't. Oh. Mopsy, you take the bag, go over to the window, put it over his head. Got it. Oh. Cottontail, take the bag. Just give him a wet willy. Got it. <laughs> no! You okay, big guy? A close one, huh? I could have been killed. And not just me. What if he got the girls? This isn't a joke, Peter. I know. I'm sorry. You're all right, though, right? I've got your jacket back. It's not as symbolic as mine, you know, not being your dad's and all. And it's brown too, which is a mistake, because you're brown. I mean, brown on brown, who wears that? It's a bit matchy-matchy. Yeah, it's actually a bit confusing. Half the time we think you're naked. I just look for the buttons. But then one time, it was your nipples. Huh? <laughs> That's a serious electric fence. Why is he feeding it peanut butter? Yummy. He's trying to bait us into touching it. What happens if we touch it? We're about to find out. No, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle, stop! No, no, well, I'm four and a half years old. I need some excitement before I check out. Look away! Guys, I have an idea. You remember what Dad used to say to us? Never, Never go, go into, into McGregor's, McGregor's garden. garden. Oh. Yeah, but what else did he say to us? Don't electrify a lady hedgehog. Maybe we should rethink some of the other stuff Dad said to us. Oh, yeah, like you can't put lipstick on a pig. Oh, no, 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 no. This is lip balm. It's cherry flavor, so it might appear to be lipstick, but this is lip balm. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. He also used to say, you can't out-clever a fox, so use his cleverness against him. Oh, come on, Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. That's enough. <laughs> huh. Two-winged flying bird. Here we go, and zap. <laughs> and zap. <laughs> and zap.
Wow, another McRecord down. Looks like you did it again, Peter. Let me just check. Yeah, I felt brain. Now, if history is any indication, that ice cream truck with the lights will take him away. I'm sorry I electrocuted you. I'm sorry I put traps on your head. I'm sorry I rubbed my butt on your hairbrush. I'm... Wait, wait, what? Nothing. Stay focused. Yeah. Please come back. Not for me. For B. How do I know this isn't a trick? You don't. You just have to trust me. Trust us. So you really are talking? No. Like you said. You're chilled out, man. You're cool now. And you're listening to your heart. That's what you're hearing. McGregor, unlock this door. Now listen to your heart. It's telling you to turn left, run six paces to that window, break it open, and let's get the heck out of here. McGregor, open up. So, the two former enemies and one of their cousins set out across the country, a ticking clock their common adversary. It was dangerous, gutsy, convoluted, and in a story like this, pretty much a journey guaranteed to succeed. So, let's just hit the highlights. You once said that everyone has a place in this world. Well, this is your place, and you shouldn't have to leave because of something I did. Were they with you? Yes, they, they, they came to London. They came to London? Yes, to, to talk me into coming back. Well, they probably didn't talk. It was probably all in my head. No, but that's not the point. Look, I, I, you, you shouldn't have to leave. I'm sorry for everything that I did, and I love you, B. Aww. Well, you tried to kill them. You blew up their home. You blew up my home. Because I got caught up in everything. You know, I got caught up in our fight. Our fight? You're still going on about this. Pathetic. Come on, Betty, let's go. It was my fault. I, I take full responsibility. Oh, my hero, finally admitting that he blew up the borough. Not as you previously claimed the button on the detonator being pushed by a rabbit! Hello, sweetie. Are you okay? Hmm? You were a part of this? I told you! I, I did tell you. 